there has been a lot of innovation going on in order to simplify the application development around generative AI ecosystem. LLM app is one of the initiative which has just caught my eye. Pathways LLM or large language model app is a Python library that helps you create and launch AI powered applications based on most up-to-date knowledge available in your own data sources. So what happens is that, for instance, you have your own companies or your own personal documents in any data storage like AWS S3 or Google Blob storage or any other storage. And you want to do generative AI stuff like text summarization or on question answer on top of that data. One way is to either create embeddings of that data, put it in a vector database, and then use RAG to enable your or fine tune your LLM to get aware of that data source and then answer the user's question. That requires a lot of different components. Where LLM app is trying to shine is that it is trying to eliminate the need of a vector database or any other chaining like LangChain. So you simply point this LLM to your data source and it generates vector indexes on the fly and then uses it. So you don't need any vector database as per LLM app. You can also use it to answer natural language questions asked by your users or to run data transformation pipeline with LLM. So primarily you are building an AI pipeline in a more simplified way because you are consolidating it into one platform. You don't need to integrate or maintain separate modules, as I mentioned earlier, like vector databases, like Pinecone, VV8, Quadrant. You don't have to worry about LangChain plus Cache or any memory store like Redis. And you don't have to worry about any other framework such as FastAPI or similar ones. You can also sync both structured and unstructured data from diverse sources, enabling real-time retrieval augmented generation or RAG. You can even set alerting on top of it. And because it is just a Python library, it scales very well. You can also integrate it with any of your existing monitoring tool where you are monitoring your Python code for any troubleshooting or even for your security purposes like fast and best. Okay, now this GitHub repo, I'll share the link in video description too. This GitHub repo contains a lot of example and code and also the instructions as how you can install it locally. But before that happens, let me also brief you how this works. So what happens is that they have a default context full pipeline. This pipeline launches an application which connects to your source folder where your documents are. And as I mentioned earlier, that source could be AWS S3 or even locally on your laptop. This LLM app is always in sync with updates to your document and it builds in real time a vector index. And for that, it uses pathway package, which they have built. Then it waits for user queries that come as HTTP REST request and then uses the index to find relevant documents and respond using OpenAI's API key or even with hugging face offline models. Now, let me quickly show you how you can install this pathway LLM on your local system. For Windows user, it really doesn't work. If you want to use it, you would need to use Windows subsystem for Linux, but mainly it is geared towards the Linux based systems such as Amazon Linux or Red Hat Linux or Ubuntu running compatible Linux systems. So these are the simple steps to get it installed. So supposedly you have your own Linux system up and running. The first step you need to do is to git clone this git, uh, this repository LLM app. Once you have done it, just cd to that directory, set your environment variable, and you can, uh, for example, things like these OpenAI API token, which you can get from OpenAI's website. And you might have to buy this, which is a bummer. But if you want to use any hugging face offline system, you can do that too. And you just need to set your environment variable to the endpoint of your LLM, offline LLM running maybe um, online or your own private on-premise data center. So once you have set your environment variables, all you need to do is 
either you can do it through docker but i would suggest you do it uh, through native approach so first thing install poetry which manages all your dependencies go to the root folder of llm which you already are then just simply do poetry install with examples and extra um, extras local would install some local examples uh, which you can run locally readily once that's done you can run various examples which are already given for example contextful now let me quickly show you this contextful example so they already have provided a code so all this context full example is doing it is giving you the option to run this um, llm in a um, way that you would call open ai's chat gpt api but it won't be using an index when processing the queries it will rely solely on the given user query and this is a very beginner tutorial so you can even see the code what is happening they're importing these libraries and they're defining the class and they are simply giving the api key and sending the request to the chat gpt and then printing the response back with the help of that pathway llm app there is another advanced one where they are using contextful underscore f3 one this example operates similar to the contextful mode which i just showed you the main difference is that the documents are stored and indexed from an s3 bucket in aws cloud that enables you the handling of a larger volume of document so if you have a production environment where you have a huge collection of documents then this should work quite nicely if you go to their github repo they also have given a link uh, to one of the demo let me scroll up a little and show you so this is a youtube video which you can watch where they have explained how this works in actual it doesn't show how to install it but as i just showed you installation uh, is quite easy you can just follow those steps you can also use docker but i believe that would just add more complexity you can start with simple native application pretty cool i guess um, and i i believe that this will improve further um, in the future and more and more similar application will be launched will which will make it easier to build generative AI applications so this is it guys please share your thoughts in the comments and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel thank you